Do you wanna be a VTuber but don't know how to start? Or maybe you wanna be a VTuber and you don't have a model yet. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Hyper to start VTubing. I'm gonna show you everything from how to set up your model, how to stream to Twitch, and how to use Hyper with OBS. We have many other tutorials if your questions aren't addressed here, so check out our channel. First, what you're going to want to do is get Hyper Online. We have a mobile application that lets you do things like record, make short videos, customize your avatar, and more. But for this tutorial, we will be focusing on desktop. The desktop application is in beta currently, but by the time you watch this video, it might be out already. If it is in beta, you can sign up for a waitlist and we will slowly roll it out to you. The waitlist is on our website and I'll link it below. If you are on Windows, you can get the application on the Steam Store. And if you are on Mac, you can either go to the Steam Store or the Mac App Store to download Hyper for Desktop. After you download the application, you are going to want to make an account or log into your existing account. You can sync your settings across accounts, so if you change your avatar on your phone, it will reflect on desktop and vice versa. Some features might not be on desktop yet, depending on when you're watching this video. For example, imports are coming shortly. For asset management, you may have to go to our website, hyper.online, to upload certain assets. Now that you're logged in, we are going to create our character. Head on over to the avatar builder, and this is where you will customize your character. If you click items, you can choose different equipables for your avatar. Cycle through the different hair colors, irises, eyebrows, tops, bottoms, accessories, and more. Once you complete customizing your character, it'll ask you to take a photo. And here, you have saved your avatar. You'll see a button on the top right-hand side, and it'll let you change your avatar. You can create as many VTuber avatars as you want, and you can cycle between them super easily. You can make skits, or if you have a special version of your character, like an underwater mode. If you are using a Vroid, VRM, or custom avatar, that feature is coming soon. Here you'll see a few additional customizations like background. Again, you might have to go on our website and go to the asset manager to upload your backgrounds or choose from our pre-existing ones. Flares is the drawing color on your canvas when we get to webcam and OBS mode. Now that everything is in order, we are going to head to webcam and OBS mode on the left hand side. On the bottom, you'll see a bunch of different tools that you can use to rotate your character, add emotes, draw on the canvas, and so much more. Feel free to explore this toolbar and get comfortable using it. Now we're going to import Hyper as a source for OBS. What I'm going to do first is set my character in a position that I'm comfortable with. Make sure that the motion capture and face tracking is on. You can also click the tracking button and this will let you see how much you are in frame. If your character isn't tracking properly, click Show Tracking and make sure that you are in frame. Great, everything is working perfectly. Now I'm going to click this sparkle icon and go to Chroma Key. This is how we're going to key out our character onto OBS. If your character is wearing green, you'll have to use a different Chroma Key color or else the green parts will become transparent. Because my character isn't wearing green, I'm going to be using the green Chroma Key. Now I'm going to start Virtual Webcam. If this is your first time using Hyper, you might have to restart Hyper and the application that you're using. Now I'm going to open OBS. If you're not familiar with OBS, the left hand bottom will have a window called screens. These are different screens that will be displayed when you start streaming. For example, if you want a be right back screen and a loading screen and a gameplay screen, I'm going to add Hyper as a source to one of these scenes in sources. I'm going to click the plus button and then I'm going to import a video capture device. Now under device, I'm going to click Hyper Camera. Again, if this is your first time using OBS with Hyper, you may have to restart Hyper OBS or both if it doesn't show up here. Select the Hyper Camera as your source, and then under presets, set the resolution you want. Click OK, and now Hyper should be imported to your OBS. But the green screen is still on there, so we are going to remove that. Right click and then click Filters. Then under Filters, click Chroma Key. In the color key type, you can specify what color you want to remove. We are going to remove green, so we're going to leave it at that. Then afterwards, you can dial in the smoothness and similarity until you get something that you want. Click OK, and you're good to go. Now you're going to import your audio, whether that's an external mic or one that comes with your device, and overlays and everything else as normal. In order to start streaming onto Twitch or onto YouTube, you're going to have to enable your stream to work with OBS. Go into settings and you can configure your stream settings from there. 
you can either log in or input your stream key. The stream key is usually located on whatever streaming service you're using settings page. And that's it! You can stream gameplay with your Hyper Avatar using a webcam and your desktop, you can use this for Discord, and so much more. You can also use your phone or iPad for streaming as well, but that's another tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you have any additional questions, don't forget to join our Discord, or you can message us here and we'll try to answer as soon as we can. See you next time!